good morning. I've been shooting this morning. Hence I'm in a dress hanging out in my house. <laughs> Don't normally wear dresses around. Let me actually turn off this music. Basically, you know when you get something on your mind and you're like, this needs to happen right now, today. So that is how I feel right now. By the way, this isn't my underwear. Everyone always thinks I'm hanging up my underwear, like on my thing. It's like random little eye masks and stuff. It's not my underwear, but I'm just gonna put them away just in case anyone sees them and is like, wait, what? <laughs> Anyway, the thing I really want to do today is have a spring clean. As you know, I buy quite a lot of clothes. I turn around my like wardrobe quite a bit. And if you've seen my wardrobe tour, which I'll link on the screen, you know that I don't like to have a lot of stuff in my wardrobe. I'm very like cut about my um, clothes and things. If I'm not wearing them, if I am switching out the seasons and I know like, I don't know. I just like to go through and just see what's what basically. So which is what I wanna to do today. It's looking a bit messy and a bit like random. And I just wanna organize it as well. Also when I changed, I went out last night. <laughs> this is realistically what happens. I like switch bags and then I'm like, oh shoes. And I just switch stuff up. So I just need to sort out my life. I'm very lucky in that I have um, cousins, loads of girl cousins. So they are always very willing to take my, sorry, it's so messy in here, <laughs> to take my, um, clothes. So I'm going to do a cousin's pile and a charity pile. Let's do this together. Oh, I just tripped over a shoe. <laughs> was that a shoe? Oh yeah, it was a, a boot. <laughs> Good times. So I don't know where I should start. If I should start with bags, which are all in here, or if I should start with clothes. Bags are probably easier, aren't they? Let's start with bags. Right at the top of here, we have four bags these are probably some of my like most unused bags i guess i have toyed with selling this bag so much this is a ysl bucket bag but i do actually wear it loads throughout the summer and every year i'm like oh should i sell it should i not and then i end up wearing it so i'm gonna keep this i'm also gonna keep this bag which i love another good summer bag this i don't think i'm gonna keep this is from sage aubrey it's such a gorgeous bag i actually really love it with this dress but it's a funny shape on it's just not big and it's not small either and i honestly prefer the Givenchy to this so i think this is gonna go in the cousin pile basically what i do is i do cousin pile which i think stuff i think they might like and then a charity pile and then the stuff that the cousins don't like just get added in to the charity pile as well this is another bag this is a mary moo bag which is so sweet it's like velvet it's technically called a camera bag but it's just huge i just think it's way too big it just doesn't sit well on me and it just looks like just really big and bulky whereas the gucci soho disco which is quite similar which my sister actually has right now so i can't compare it and show you it's a tiny bit smaller and just a bit like floppier so yeah i think this one is also going to go in the cousin pile i actually got this bag years ago maybe like three years ago and i barely wear it even though it's so cute but i know my friend actually really wants it so i'm going to keep it for her she's a very big charlotte olympia fan like even bigger than me <laughs> that's already three guys that's already three things that we've cleared out oh maybe i should sell some stuff on depop as well all of these bags i'm just going to leave as they are because i know i'm going to not going to sell them we have chanel's back there let me just tuck this down there valentino gucci my little charm on my backpack chloe bags mark cross aspinall gonna keep all of those then down here i have a new aspinall bag which you might have seen this is a hat box bag i'm actually gonna put this strap in here hold on oh i also have this bag which hannah and i bought a couple years ago and i think it's so sweet i'm actually gonna keep that i don't think i'm gonna get rid of any bags back here the only one that i think I don't really wear and I haven't worn for a year is this, but I do love it. It's a little cocky nail bag. I adore it and I, I'm not ready to part with it yet. <laughs> As you know, I have two of these amazing Antigonas. They're the best bags. I honestly cannot recommend these bags enough. They fit everything. I'm just gonna slot them down here. That is their little home down there. And then on this bottom shelf, down here is where I have some clutch bags. I put my Olympia Latans here. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous summary bag that I love. But I have a couple of clutch bags that I don't really wear so much. I have this, which I wear actually relatively 
a lot <laughs> this alexander mcqueen but i also have these Zeodora bags which are gorgeous this one says she's electric and this one is an edelweiss bag i'm gonna keep this one because i do wear that one a lot but the annoying thing is that they're so heavy that i can't really travel with them i think i'm gonna give this one to my cousins because i don't think it gets enough love from me that it actually deserves that's going up there and that is all my bags done looking so pretty and nice now i can close that cupboard should we do clothes next or shoes next probably clothes this is what I do. First, my camera battery was flashing at me. So I was like, okay, I need to charge my camera. And then I do this every single time I clean up something. I'm like, might as well do something else now. <laughs> I can't way through. So um, I decided to fake tan. So I changed my clothes and I look kind of red because the fake tan is a bit like red based, I guess. I used this mixer moisturizer first on my dry patches and then i used this loving tan but i'm loving isle of paradise as well but i want their mousse i only have their spray and i want to do mousse so it's like proper anyway let's tackle this shall we really need to sort this out and i'm also going to put winter stuff away so maybe i'll put a winter pile down there first we have this spring knit which i think i'm going to keep it is still quite cold in London, so I think I'm still gonna keep my winter stuff out, which is kind of bum out, but I'm gonna go through and clear stuff out. This jumper, I feel like I've actually got a lot of use out of. I can't decide if I should keep it or not. I am gonna keep it, hold on, no, ignore me, ignore me. Now you're gonna see me like hoarding, okay, hold on. Uh, this is new, this is new, 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 new. Well, not new, but like new, I'm gonna wear it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, these pants are Roland Murray trousers and they're so beautiful. They're velvet pants, but I never ever wear them. And I feel like my sister will really like them because she loves velvet pants. So I'm going to put them over there. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Keep, keep. I'm not doing very well. I'm like halfway through. Keep, keep. This dress. I love but it's so hard to wear first of all it's see-through so you need a slip underneath second of all it's really short i think i'm still going to keep it because i love the color but it is a really hard to wear dress just something to bear in mind because i know a lot of people ask me about it this dress is honestly a bit too tight for me it also has a slit that goes up your thigh and i always end up like showing my underwear so i think i'm gonna give that away this top i actually got a couple of years ago and i love it it's a suede top and it's cream but i actually haven't worn it in the past year so does that mean i need to get rid of it that's kind of like the rule like does it spark joy within you have you worn it recently it does spark joy within me and i haven't worn it recently so i feel like i'm gonna wear it this weekend just to like justify keeping it this top i love i'm gonna keep this this one is actually something i got from urban outfitters and i think i'm going to give this to my sister because it's just not really that flattering on me it's quite a bobble top i feel like you need like a long torso for it and i don't have one um keep 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 keep, keep. okay so that is all of that i got rid of four things so that wasn't very good i'm gonna go through this drawer as well because as you can see it's quite a messy situation this skirt i really like but it's just way too big for me like i can fit another person in here when i wear it but i'm still going to keep it because i did wear it the other day and it is a really easy skirt this is new this is track suits that goes in there i'm going to sell this skirt i think it's a self-portrait skirt and i did wear it loads but i just don't feel that confident in it for some reason something just doesn't spark joy within me that's literally all i can say so trousers i have my leather pants which as you know i wear literally every day i have a couple pairs of velvet pants these i love and i wear them all the time they're gorgeous these i actually don't wear that much because they're so tight around the hips they're from blank nyc so i only wear them when i'm like not eating which is never i'm still gonna keep them i'll probably keep them closer to the top so that i remember to wear them and then i have two pairs of top shop jeans which are the best 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 jeans i also recently got these levi 501 jeans which i love but they're a tiny, tiny bit big for me. But I think that's kind of the point of them, isn't it? Then I have these black ASOS skinny pants, which I got years ago, and I love them. And all of these I do actually wear loads. So, and then I have my Stella McCartney star jeans. I literally wear every single thing in there. In terms of back here, that's like gym stuff. 
put on random tops, which I need to sort out. You know when you're like, I actually, I don't, actually don't think I can do this with the, with the gym stuff. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Right. I'm going to just take it all out. It's like gym stuff mixed with crop tops and things and jumpers and tags. <laughs> Here's what we're doing. We're taking everything out and... Uh, Starting from scratch. Right, well this still has a tag, so that's useful. Does anyone do this when they're tidying up? And just like get halfway through and then get distracted and like do something else and then all of a sudden it's like a brand new day. <laughs> Cause that's exactly what I did. I got distracted tidying up my cupboards and then I went for lunch and then I had a snack and then I basically found everything else to do except actually clear out my cupboards and have a spring clean. So, I'm gonna show you where we're at. This was the drawer we just did. I just wore my jeans, so that's why this is a bit demolished. There's still a tag here somewhere. Don't know why that, that is there. Let's get rid of that. We have my pile of skirts here, and we were about to organize all my gym gear and track suits and stuff, which goes there. I'm gonna put track suits in one pile, which I guess I will put here. Basically up here, I'm gonna have gym gear and then crop tops as well or maybe i should hang up crop tops i'm not sure because i always forget they exist and what i have and stuff <laughs> This drawer is now officially done. And now I have to tackle this, which is basically just a major overflow of jumpers. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Mary Kondo way and just take everything out and start again and just do the does it spark joy within me thing. When did I last wear it? Because I have this one drawer for jumpers and I need to make sure that everything fits in there. Sorry, I'm just getting a couple more from up here. Right, this is a new jumper from next it says mais oui and then on the side it says mon chéri i think it's a really good dupe of the chinti and parker jumpers i love it's not cashmere the chinti and parker ones are all cashmere but i'm still very excited to wear it then i have like a couple of hoodies which i'm definitely going to keep i mean this one has a few holes in it from moths and stuff but it's like my chilled hoodie that i just wear all the time so I'm gonna keep this. Getting rid of jumpers for me is so hard because I genuinely wear like all of them. I didn't fold that very well, did I? <laughs> uh, then I have like a cropped jumper. I have a couple of cropped jumpers, so I'm just gonna keep this on the cropped. We're gonna do a little crop jumper like pile, I think, because I wear crop jumpers quite a bit with my skirts. And I'm gonna put that at the back so I can see it along with this one. This is a really gorgeous one. I'll put in a picture of me wearing it. I wore it the other day on my Instagram and on my blog. It's from Tula Rosa. It's so gorgeous. It has the most amazing sleeves. I think I'm gonna put thin knits on one side and then thicker knits on the other side. So this is another thin knit, which I love. I have a couple of more thicker knits that I don't wear all the time, but I love like this one teaspoon one. So I think I'm gonna put them in the drawers under my bed. Also, I would love to have this drawer for summer stuff, but summer and spring clothes aren't even really out yet. So I still kind of need my jumpers around. This is another jumper. I love this so much. I bought it and I put it in a haul pretty recently, but I does, I wore it once. And one of my friends was like, you look like a balloon. So <laughs> I literally never wore it since then. Because I feel like it does make you look a bit like a balloon, but I just kind of find it found it quite flattering. I'm not sure. I think this is going to go in the under the bed storage situation. This is a really cute jumper. I bought this recently from an American website just because I really like those straps. I think the straps are really sweet. And I thought the color was like a really easy blush pink color. I'm going to put cashmere jumpers on one side and then more like fashion jumpers on the other side, I think. And this is another chinti and parker jumper they do my favorite cashmere jumpers they're always just really simple and gorgeous and easy to wear like this one has a little frill down the front and it's a baby blue oh it really needs dry cleaning actually oh look at that that's so dirty can you see that oh dry cleaning pile <laughs> Let me just explain this to you. We have crop jumpers over here, fancy knits over here, thin round neck jumpers here, casual jumpers here, thick knit here, and then fashion-y more jumpers here. The last section of this is coats, long dresses, and shoes. And as you can see, this is the cupboard that gets the most out of control. 
I'm gonna go through these coats. I'm a bit of a coat hoarder. I actually have one, two, three that aren't hung up. First of all, they're quite heavy for the hangers. They take up too much room and I wear them too much. I have my cowl one that I wear all the time that isn't hung up either. Basically, I love coats so much. And I've done a coat collection, so if you wanna see that, I will link it down below. This one is my Max Mara one you will have seen in a Mr. Village vlog, uh, which I bought on sale, so I'm definitely keeping that. This one is a Me and M coat. Now, to be honest, I don't wear this one that much. I think I've barely, barely worn it. It's such a beautiful coat, but it's just a bit too formal for me. I don't really like this style of coat. I much prefer like more bathrobe coats, as people like to call them. So I think I'm gonna sell this one. If you wanna follow me on Depop, my username is at Amelia Liana. Um, this is much more of a me style coat. It's just a bit more like floppy and easy to throw on. Then I have this me and M one, which you will have seen in my most recent haul, that navy blue one. I have a couple of leather jackets, a pink coat, another leather jacket, this mother denim coat, which I love. This Club Monaco coat, which I actually think I'm going to go and get altered because every time I put it on, I'm like, oh, it's just a bit too long for me. So I'm actually gonna put that down here and go and get that altered. Another leather jacket. This denim coat, which I love. I have my country jacket. This Ted Baker coat, which I adore. It's so gorgeous. You know me that this coat was like my most worn coat this autumn winter. And then I have this coat, which I've actually never worn. And I think I'm going to sell because it's just, I don't really know. I think I was just being a bit like overexcited about life. I'm not really sure and I've just never worn it. So it's just not very me that is going over there. Then I have this, which was a Tula Rosa sheepskin, faux sheepskin coat, which I love. A cape. I'm also actually gonna sell this because I didn't actually wear it that much. It's a bit too long for me. You know when you just know you're not gonna wear something that much and I just wanna give it a better home. One in, one out policy. This I bought last year in the sale, this merge coat, which I love, I wear it all the time. Then I have like a Zimmerman dress, which my mum bought me, I think for my, no, for Christmas. Then I have this dress you will have seen in a recent haul. And I have like a couple of other long fancy dresses, jumpsuits, that kind of thing. I know what's here and I wear all of it. I'm not gonna really get rid of any of them. Oh, I'm out of breath. Guys, why am I out of breath? The thing is some of these hangers don't really work because the dresses are just too heavy for them, the long dresses. So that's a bit annoying. Let's put this up here. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, I always have these in my cupboard. I'm basically now gonna spend some time and organize this into some sort of order. So hold on. I'm actually also gonna sell this because I've never worn it before and I've had it for quite a while now. Every time I put it on to wear it, I just don't feel comfortable in it and I don't feel like it's very me. So yeah, that's going there. basically put short jackets like leather jackets and stuff like that here then I have the longer more cozier warmer jackets over here and then the super long stuff all the way at the end here now to tackle this Good morning again from the room of doom otherwise known as my bedroom I took a little break again yesterday I feel like it's just sometimes better to do stuff in batches I just feel like I just get more stuff done that way and I think more clearly about the stuff I have and what I actually want to use and what I actually don't wear. So we're getting on to the shoes now. This is my shoe situation. It's a bit annoying because I have these long dresses which you saw me sort out um, yesterday. So that's just there. I have some flats over here that are missing. Let's put these back. And Hannah actually has a few pairs of shoes of mine I think as well. But anyway, okay, let's have a look here and see. Ooh, the squeaky noises. Absolutely, there's a hanger back there, isn't there? <laughs> Kill me. Oh, everything's falling down. And I normally put heels up here it's getting a bit out of control and quite messy so I think let's start from the bottom started from the bottom now we're here started from the bottom now I can buy more shoes because I'm getting rid of some <laughs> let's see what we have heels should probably go up there I'm just gonna like chuck these up here for now oops I have boots and stuff down here. I'm still wearing a lot of my boots because it is winter. The ones I think I will put in storage are these because these are more like snowy kind of boots. They look a little something like this. They're really cute. I bought them in the Christmas sales. So I'm gonna put those in storage because I will wear them again. These shoes I bought maybe like three years ago and I've never really worn, but I don't wanna get rid of them because 
they're so beautiful and I felt like they were a shoe I really needed in my wardrobe like a fun statement boot but I just never wear them so I'm gonna give myself ooh, maybe I'll give them like three more months three more months to w get good use out of them and if I don't then I'll sell them. Is that fair, do you think? Probably not, but <laughs> I still like them. I don't want to get rid of them. These are actually my sisters. They're a bit too small for me, but I wear them all the time because I love them. So I'm going to put those boots at the back. And I put my shoes, by the way, like I store them kind of like this so that the tips aren't together so that you actually have more room so you can put more shoes in your actual storage. These are another pair of boots I don't wear a lot. I should definitely wear these more, I guess also because I wear black a lot so I just end up wearing like these kind of plain black boots. But I do love these, they are so hard to walk in though. Like look at that heel, that's insane isn't it? I'm gonna put these here and hopefully get a bit more use out of them. If you're wondering where my Stuart Wiseman and stuff boots are, they're in another drawer underneath my jumpers over there. But I know I'm not getting rid of anything in there so I'm just <laughs> leaving that as it is. Then I also have these which I actually really need to fix because they're a bit battered. I do wear these loads. I actually find purple boots weirdly easy to wear. These I love. I wear these loads and I think I'll still wear them into spring. Probably not in summer, but definitely still in spring. I do wear these boots loads. They are kind of bikery. So I'm gonna put those there. Or maybe actually I'll put the heel boots at the back. What do you think? That's a better idea, isn't it? Um, let's put this, these boots here, these here. These here. These are actually more summer shoes. I have a couple pairs, I think, of more summery shoes at my mum's still. So I'm going to have to bring them over because these need some friends. I feel like they're the only summer shoes I potentially wore recently. But actually, maybe I'll have room to put them up here. Now, this is the fun drawer. This is like the, the exciting drawer. Do, do I say drawer weirdly? I feel like I do. People say drawer. 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 But I say drawer. I don't know. <laughs> in here, this drawer is where all my pointy flats are. I might actually put these down there. I'm not actually sure. I have quite a few different heels here. I have a lot of pointy heels like these, which I, I don't actually need to move around that much. I might just do it by color. This drawer didn't actually need too much organizing. I've kind of organized it by like what I wear the most at the front and then some higher heels at the back. I have some Ted Baker heels here, my little Chanel pumps as well. And then on the top here, I probably should throw away those boxes there, but I keep flat. So I have these sandals, which I showed in a video recently. Then I have these, which I also showed in my recent haul. A couple of Charlotte Olympia flats. Back here, I have some shoes that I'm actually gonna sell. I'm gonna sell these Aquazura shoes because I didn't actually wear them that much last summer, although I do really love them and I think they're gorgeous. Then I also have this shoe, which is like a Mew Mew shoe. I think I bought this in Bista Village a while ago and I don't know where the other shoe is. I think it might be in Hannah's cupboard. I actually have no idea. I need to go looking around for it. I'm gonna put that down in there. So now this is what this looks like. I definitely need to go and get the Hoover in there, but I have trainers at the back. My trainers are mainly by the front door because I wear them every day. Then I have flats at the front. I should probably turn these around, shouldn't I? So that they, oh, what is that doing under there? There's things you find in my cupboard, honestly. <laughs> yeah, then we have flats over here. Then under here are all my shoes. My favorite shoes, really. I don't actually wear these so much, but again, I'm gonna put them in my three month rule. See if I get some good use out of them. And then down here is boots and more summery higher heels. And uh, that's the, <laughs> the missing shoe. I'm so happy right now because my cupboards are all super, super, super neat. But my room is a total mess, <laughs> as you can see by the state of my bed. I mean, look at all those spare hangers I found though. So I need to tidy up my room. <laughs> But at least I've had a spring clean. I have like a pile for charity, a pile for my cousins, a pile to sell, and a pile that I actually need to take to dry cleaning as well. And I hope you enjoyed my spring cleaning video. If you want to see what I'm selling, it will all be on my Depop, which is Amelia Liana 123 I believe. I'll link it down below. I'll put it on the screen. And I hope this encourages you to do a little bit of a spring clean. I know there is that book, the Marie Kondo one everyone talks about, the um, How to Tidy Your Life book. What is it even called? I can't even remember, <laughs> but I'll put a picture of it in but I didn't actually read that properly I basically just took what I wanted from it and basically just apply that when I'm tidying up stuff I'm gonna do this same thing for my beauty
beauty room as well. So if you want to see that, comment down below or like this video and let me know. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys!